Hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing around with my camera because it looks it looks like it had something on it, but I think it's totally fine. I'm sure it's just me. <laughs> so good morning, good morning. Thanks for watching the replay. And if you're watching live, please pop on and say hi and tell me where you're watching from. Sorry, I'm. I just pulled my sweater off. I just came in from getting getting the kiddo on the bus, and it's freezing outside, but it's nice and toasty inside. So, um. I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated, in case you don't know who I am, and um, today we're going to chalk. We're going to do a little chalk tour. I am doing the vintage truck, and we're going to do a little winter scene here. So um, if, if you've watched any of my lives during Christmas, I used a lot of the winter truck add-ons, and it was all um, like Christmas tree stuff. Good morning, Beth. It was all Christmas trees. Um, and this is part of this winter truck add-on. I'm gonna just kind of pull these out so you can see. But it had like this, um, it had this tree farm transfer and this one that was about the trees and then it got some, um, a couple of axes and it had the trees that came out of the back of the truck. So that was part of the winter vintage truck add-on. But this is the other part of it and I've never even cut this up, I've never used it. The, this one is all about um, like snowboarding and ski slopes and that kind of stuff. And I thought, you know, this is perfect. It's, it's not Christmassy, but it's wintery. And so I thought this would be a great one that I could do today. So morning, mom. <laughs> glad you glad you hopped on on live. So um, I I just don't know which ones I want to do. Like if I want to do the snowboards, if I want to do just the words. There's so many different things you can do um, with this add-on. I also have this, which are the snowflakes, and I totally want to use these. So um, maybe we'll we'll start with the truck, and then we'll just kind of add add from there. So um, again, if you're joining live, say hi. I know Beth and my mom are watching. <laughs> so good morning, ladies. Um, let's see, these are so cute, you guys. This is so cute. So I'm going to start with my vintage truck. And I'm only going to do one layer. So, so this comes with this, this underneath layer. Okay, so I could do this one color and then layer this on top of it and have that be the second color. But um, I don't have a whole ton of time, and I would have to wait for this under layer to dry. And I did not bring my hair dryer downstairs. Um, so I'm just going to do one layer of the vintage truck because it looks totally fine with one layer. Um, I also have the um, buffalo plaid layer. And you could do that on the bottom too. Again, I would have to wait for that to dry, so I'm not gonna do that this morning. Um, but that's another fun one that you can use. And that also came with this, this add-on, this winter add-on. You got that buffalo plaid under, under layer. So we're just gonna start with this one, and I'm wondering what color do I want this truck to be? Let's see. Um, I think... Maybe we go vintage and do like an aqua truck. What do you think? Does anybody have an opinion about what color this truck should be? I think I'm gonna go with an aqua truck. So again, I'm not putting that under layer on. You don't have to do that. This truck looks great with just this like outline on it. Um, so I will show you how this works. And you guys, I'm using um, chopsticks as stir sticks for my paste because my little makeup spatulas, the little plastic makeup spatulas that I ordered um, have not arrived yet. But um, you need to mix your paste up when you use it, um, especially if you haven't used it in a couple of days. Now, if, you, if I just used this like 30 minutes ago or something, or even just yesterday, it's probably fine. Um, but I haven't used my paste in like a week, so. I'm just stirring them up. So let me grab a paper towel so I have a place to set this. So I'm just going to stir those up. I used a chopstick today, but I did order those. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen those. They're like little plastic spatulas. They're teeny tiny. And you use them for like makeup and face cream. At least that's what they're marketed for. Um, but someone one of the designers with Chalk Couture realized, hey, those work really, really well with our chalk paste and our inks. And so um, I ordered some of those. I ordered like a hundred pack and I think it was less than $10. So hopefully that'll last me a while. 
But when you're chalking a lot, especially doing like make and takes and things like that, it's great to have something that you can stir with and then toss it away. I think those actually you could wash them and reuse them. But like chopsticks, I'm going to throw those away. I've used plastic knives before. The problem is with plastic knives is they have so many grooves in them. And I feel like I end up wasting a whole project worth of chalk paste because you can't get all that paste out of those grooves of like a plastic knife. So that's why I kind of prefer chopsticks. But as soon as I get spatulas in, those are going to be perfect. And I'll show you guys what those look like as soon as they arrive. Okay, I think I got that on there okay. Perfect. Um, I let the paste dry just a little bit too much on the top, but that's totally fine because um, I want this vintage truck to look vintage. Uh, if it's if it looks perfect, um, then it doesn't then it doesn't look so vintage, right? <laughs> so. Um, it looks a little weathered, it looks a little vintage, and I think it looks great, I love it. So right over here on the end, I can see I got a little chalk paste on my board where I don't want it. I don't know if you guys can see this really well, but it's right there on the edge, and I'm just gonna take a little damp paper towel and wipe that off really quickly, and that's it. There you go. So um, again, working with chalk paste is so forgiving because all you could do is just wipe it right off. The aqua's great. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, good morning, Susan. Good morning. Um, again, if you're live, tell me, um, say hi and tell me where you're from because I want to know who's watching and who's enjoying warmer weather than we are in Maryland. <laughs> it is cold here today. Um, although they said that we've had above average temperatures for the past like 26 days or something. And um, it's supposed to be 59 tomorrow. So I told the boys um, that they could ride bikes if it's warm enough. They can ride bikes before school tomorrow because that's kind of a big deal to ride your bikes before school. So, mm. okay, just needed a little sip of coffee. So now I would love to do these snowflakes because I think those would be so good. But I'm wondering, this one is really big. Like the words on this are too big for this board, this is a smaller board. I need a larger board to do those words. It doesn't look like any of those will fit. So let's just do the snowflakes. So good to know. If you get this truck add-on, oh sorry, it's backwards. If you get this truck add-on, the winner one, these sayings are too big for a, uh, this is a 12 by 12 chalk board. Those are too big, those need to be on something larger. So good to know. We're just gonna add some snowflakes to this which will be beautiful. I can't wait to see how these look. And we'll do them in white. I've got a couple shades of blue and I've got some white. So those might be pretty to use. Uh, let's just toss that down there. So what I didn't bring out here was a Sharpie. And let me tell you what I usually do. With transfers that come like this that have a whole bunch of pieces and they're all similar shapes and sizes, what I like to do is, um, sorry, I'm just checking my phone. It looks like it might be losing batteries sometime soon. Um, I write on the back what each one is. So like this one would be, you know, pointy, small snowflake. This one, I don't know. I would just make up names for them. Or write one, two, three, four, five, six, and then label it on the back. But you want to make sure that you keep the right transfer on the right back, or else they're never gonna lay flat again, or, or match up again. Um, not the end of the world, really, really. It's chalk, it's not the end of the world. But if you wanna stay organized, that's a little tip. Take a Sharpie and write on the backs of these. Um, and like for these, yeah, instead of making up names, I would probably just write on the front, give each snowflake a number, and then write the corresponding number on the back of the, of the backing there just on that part so that they match up again when I'm done and cleaning after I clean them so that they can store nicely. Cause the better you take care of your transfers, the longer they're going to last. Um, if you take care of these, if you use them right, if you store them correctly, if you clean them, they're going to last you. Um, chalk Couture says you can use them eight to 12 times. This truck, you guys have used at least 20 times, at least probably even more than that. So you could definitely use it more 
more and more and more. Okay, cozy warm in Texas. Let's see. They're they're having a make and take. My mom's having a make and take. If you're in, um, sorry guys, I'm fuzzing this on my lap because this is a brand new transfer and I've never used it. But my I don't have a whole lot of room up here, so my towel is in my lap. Um, yeah, so if you're in Texas, if you're in like the Dallas Fort Worth area and you want to do a make and take, if you want to do something, um, send me a message and I'll hook you up with my mom because uh, she hosts make and takes pretty often and um, she's hosting a couple in January. So it should be very, very fun. Um, let's do a couple of these. Let's put a few on. We'll, we'll kind of knock a few out. So let's see here. I'm gonna put this one down here. We'll do a couple at once. And I just realized I did not mix that white. Let's mix that up first. So let's see, let's see. It's Monday, you guys. Happy, happy Monday. This is like the first full week of school and work for everybody since the holidays. So we'll see, we'll see if we can make it a full five days without somebody melting down. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. There's always something, right? There we go. Now let's try this. Oh, much better, much better. Um, and I've mentioned this before, but if you've never heard me mention this, if your chalk paste seems to feel like it's drying out a little bit if it's not as if it's not going on as smooth um, you can water it down with a little bit of water and um, if you live out in the country like I do and you're on well water I would highly suggest using bottled water to um, to water down your paste use bottled water and the reason you want to use bottled water if you're out in the country and you're on well water is because the amount of minerals and stuff in your um in your well water uh might react with the chalk paste and i've never had that happen because i've never actually used my well water on my um on my chalk paste i've always 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 used bottled water but I've used it with chalk paint. I've used my well water and it completely destroyed a whole can of paint. Um, I had little black spots and it was just the minerals in my water reacted to the chalk paint. So since I learned my lesson through paint, I just don't take a chance with my paste. So <laughs> I just, um, I don't want to ruin a whole jar of paste just to water it down. And um, Costco sells, you know, really inexpensive bottled water. <laughs> so I always have bottled water around. So you just need probably like a half a cap full to start with. Sometimes not even that much, just a tiny bit of water and just slowly add water until you get back to that nice consistency. So we've got a couple snowflakes. Let's add a few more. And I'm going to scroll down and check the comments. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Christy. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. What a great group we have this morning. Um, it's like all my mom's friends and, and, um, and Christy, which, um, Christy, I sent you an email. We're having a little party for Blake on, on Saturday. I hope you and the boys can come. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Let's add a few more snowflakes. And once these dry a little, I might layer a couple of these snowflakes too. But I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to do this light blue. This is called morning sky. And then I have this one called evening sky, I think, midnight sky. And there are these two blues. You can kind of see the colors. This midnight sky is really hard to see on the black, but it looks fantastic if you do it on a white board. It looks so pretty. It really pops. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. Um, but it does not look so great on, on the black chalk. Um, it's very, very difficult to see. I actually did a Hanukkah sign for my neighbors. And the first one I did, I did the candles in that blue, and you couldn't see them at all. And so we redid it and made the candles white, and they looked much, much, much better. Um, but if I were doing it on a white, you know, like if I did like one of those box frames that Chocotour settles that has a white background, um, the, that blue looks so pretty. 
It's oh so pretty. All right. So I, I'm noticing a few people on here have never tried Chalk Couture. So if you've never tried it and you want to try it, there's a few ways that you can try it um, without like investing in a whole bunch of stuff. So the first way is to attend a make and take. Um, I host them here in the DC area. Um, I'm trying to do about one a month um, up here, but then if you're in Texas, which I know there's a lot of Texas folks watching, um, my mom hosts make and takes pretty often as well. So that's one way that you can try it. You pay one price and you get to make a board and um, you go home with the board that you make. You don't go home with the transfers or with the chalk paste. Um, however, if you want to purchase any of that, you can. But it's it's really just so you can try it out. We're going to just add another one right over here. It's really so you can just try it out. Um, and it's you get to go home with, with your creation, which is super, super awesome. So then the other really good way that you could try this stuff is right now, Chalk Couture is making, or they're selling a um, kickstart kit, a creative kickstart kit. And that is a kit that comes with everything you need to make something on your own. So you wouldn't attend to make and take. Let's see if that is. Another one right over here. So instead of attending a make and take, you would get your kit and do it on your own. However, <laughs> I am hosting an online sip and chalk, so like an online make and take. And that is where we're going to have a, a closed Facebook group. So it's only going to be the people who bought that Kickstart kit. And on January 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, we're going to hop on live and I am going to do the project with you um, online. And so you will get to do the whole project from start to finish. You'll have all the materials you need if you purchase the kit. And... Um, and it's that easy. And then I'll be online and it'll kind of be like this, but a little bit more interactive. I'll slow down, give you guys time to answer questions or ask questions and, you know, troubleshoot and we'll go through everything really slowly. But I'm just noticing I got some paste kind of, that one's a little messy. But you can see, I just used that same transfer three times. One, two, three with the same color. So you could totally do that. There's no rules. There's no rules when it comes to um, to chalk couture. You can do what you want. So, good morning, Sonia. Oh, is it cold? Is it cold there? I bet. Well, I hope you've got um, some warm sweaters to bundle up in. Sonia, I would love if um, if you would share some of your completed projects with the group. I've never seen any of your completed projects, but I know you do it. I know you do chalk couture. So if you feel like sharing like a picture of something that you did, we'd all love to see it. I would love to see it. I'd love to see what you've made. Good morning, Heather. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do white on that thing. Well, maybe we'll do the sky blue right now. Let's see. Oh, you know what we can do too? Here, let me try this. Let's mix some colors. Make it fun. Okay. And we'll do a little white in the center. Okay. So again, the two ways that you could try Chalk Couture without investing in all the products all at once would be the Creative Kickstart Kit, which you can buy. I'll leave the link. And then join me on January 20th online. We'll do it together online. Or if you don't want to do it with me, you can totally do it on your own. There's a <laughs> that's perfectly fine too. Um, and then the other way is to attend a make and take. And so if you're local, I'm hosting them about, like I said, I'm going to try to do once a month this year. And then um, if you're in Texas, oh, that turned out so pretty. That looks so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the colors really well between with that camera. Let me try to hold this up and see if you can see it a little bit better. Can you see how that it's okay? Wait there. Can you see how it's like light blue on the outside and then white on the inside? Maybe you can see it better if I hold it up to this camera. There. Oh yeah, that camera looks a little bit better. Doesn't that look pretty? 
Oh, that looks real cute. I'm, I'm digging these snowflakes, you guys. I don't know why I didn't open these up. I don't know why I didn't open this up during Christmas time. <laughs> we didn't do any snowflakes um, at Christmas. I did a lot of the truck. I did some Christmas trees, some Santa, some reindeer, that kind of stuff. And I didn't do treat, but I didn't do snowflakes. Let's see. Um, this one I can do the opposite. I'll do white on the outside and then blue on the inside. Let's see. And again, if I didn't like how this looked, all I would do is just wipe it off because it's paste. It's not permanent. Um, it is removable on most hard surfaces. And I'm just taking my finger and I'm swirling these two colors together and just making sure it, it gets in the grooves there of that silk screen. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. Oh, this is turning out adorable. Um, I love mix, mixing and matching these different transfers because again, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, there's the creative kickstart kit. The little saying on it is, um, it says you are enough. And then I did uh, a transfer the other day that says um, shoes. It's about shoes, like buy the shoes. Life is short, buy the shoes. <laughs> My husband said, can you, can you mix the you are enough transfer and the buy the shoes transfer and just say enough shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Which is really funny. <laughs> yes, you totally can. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know many many women who would who would agree with enough shoes. Um, but but if there are any men out there who want to try chalk couture and want to want to make something, you could mix those two transfers and say enough shoes. <laughs> or if there was a transfer that says never, like, I think there is one that says like never give up. You could do like never enough shoes. I mean, again, you can totally mix and match all of these transfers. So look how cute this is looking. What do you think guys? You like the snowflakes? Oh, you like them when they overlap? Yeah, they, it is cute. I'm just trying to work quickly. And, um, I don't have my hair dryer. If I had brought my hair dryer, I could dry these in between, but I don't want to use my um, transfer on something that I just did that's still wet. So I want to kind of try to give it a couple of minutes just to dry and harden a little bit. Because again, this goes on wet and then it hardens as it dries. And it does not take very long. but I'm hearing banging outside. You guys, there was an accident right outside of our house this morning. And then I just heard like another huge bang. We've been trying to get a light. Oh, that's so cute. We've been trying to get this traffic light installed for like years. Well, our neighbors have been trying to get it installed for years. We've been trying to get it up since we moved in a year ago. And they're finally, finally, finally putting up a full traffic light in front of our house. So cute. So cute. Um, but there was an accident there again this morning. There's always accidents in our intersection. It's the most dangerous intersection in Bridget County. Okay, that's all my snowflakes. So what do you guys think? Look how cute that is. Uh, how can you see it? Right there? Right there? Kind of, it's so hard for me because this is backwards, like it's flipped backwards. So what I think I'm turning it the right way, I'm turning it the opposite way. So look how cute with all the snowflakes. So that is perfect for winter, um, you know, a non Christmassy fun winter thing. And that was the, um, the vintage truck. And then that was the snowflakes transfer. That was not part of the, the snowflakes transfer was, was not part of the winter 
add-on. That one had the, the snowboarding stuff. Which all those words are actually too big for this 12 by 12 board. I need a larger board, but I don't have one over here. They're all in my in my office slash craft room. And I'm in the dining room. So that is that's what we did today. Look how cute, how cute. I love how that is. And then I just realized the shoes thing is on the back of this. I used the back side. So these are all um all the chalk couture boards. Sorry guys. All of the chalk couture boards are um double-sided or most of the chocolate boards I should say most not all of them are but that's the shoes it's so it says life is short by the shoes and then I did the track on the other side well wow, that's kind of funny I use like all the same colors <laughs> must be in a really teal mood these days so um, if anyone has any questions leave them in the comments and let me know tag me so I see them although I try to go through um, oh I'm glad you like it Beth. Um, I try to go through and make sure I answer all the questions, but if for some reason um, you've noticed I've missed your question, just just tag me and I'll, I'll make sure to answer it, of course. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And then I will leave the link to the Creative Quick Start Kit. So if you want to try that, if you want to try Chalk Couture, it's $34.99 and you get, um, you get a board, you get the traits for it, you get four chalk paste that come in like the single packs, which is like a little, um, it looks like a ketchup packet. So it's four different colors of chalk paste and you get a small squeegee. So you get everything you need to do a finished product. And um, I'll do it live with you on January 20th. Whether or not you can join me on that day, you don't have to join me on that day. And in fact, if you can't, you can always watch the replay because I'll, I'll have it in that group. Um, and, um, or you could totally do it on your own, which is which is perfectly fine. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy Monday. <laughs> I will talk to everyone soon. Bye.